In this tutorial, I'd like to show you more about using Mail Merge in Microsoft Word. For this particular lesson, we're going to assume that you want to send this dues letter to people who are affiliated with the YMCA. In this case, we are going to use a list of recipients that was created already in Microsoft Word. Maybe we sent these people a notice six months ago or a year ago, and we've drafted a brand new letter to them, and we want to use that existing list and maybe even edit it. How do I do that? Well, let me show you. We click on the Mailings tab above the ribbon at the top, and we'll do Start Mail Merge and we'll go to the step-by-step -step approach. What document do I want? Well, right now we're going to stick with letter, and so I'll click on Next. Do I want to use the current document? Well, I do in this case, so now we'll click on Next again. For recipients, I don't want a new list. I want to use an existing list, so I'll click on Browse, and move quickly to the location where I know I have a file and I'm going to choose my sample address list that perhaps I used a year ago or six months ago and then it pops up my list it has three names in it I can sort it or filter it I can't edit it but it just says is this the one you want and I'll click on OK now I can click on edit recipient list in order to do that, I click down here to Data Source, and I click on Edit. Now this gives me another pop-up, which lets me actually edit the list. I can click on New Entry, and I can add another one. And we can go ahead and put some fictitious stuff in here. and fictitious zip code and then if I'm done I simply click OK. Now it says do I want my recipient list to save the changes and I will say yes. So now that imported it into my recipient list. There's now four entries instead of three. I'll click on the OK button. So my list is done. The next option is to write my letter and here I'm going to put in both an address block and a greeting line. I put my cursor where I want my address block to go and I'll click right here and it gives me a sample of what it will look like. Again, I can arrow through the different entries I have here and I like that so I'll just click on OK and then down here after the date I'll insert a greeting line and it gives me a sample of it and I can again click through my records to uh, the previous ones to find what it will look like and click on OK. So I have, the, I have used and edited my previous list. I've inserted an address block and greeting line and then I go to the next which is preview the letter and this will let me preview any particular um, copy of the letter that I want that's going to go out under a different name uh, with different information. And now I'm going to do complete the merge and now we will print it. I click on print here and we'll do all the records and I'm going to print it to a PDF file. Right now if I were sending it to the printer I would hear the printer run and I would get these four pages I'm going to pause this and show you what the results are in a PDF. So I just opened the document I printed to uh, called YMCA2 and each page is a letter that would have gone to the printer otherwise to uh, four uh, my four recipients. And so that gives you a, an idea of how to take an existing list that Word created pull it in as the source file for your recipients in a mail merge in Microsoft Word. One nice feature of Word is its ability to help you create your own list of recipients you can mail merge to that you can use not only once but many times. 
attaching it to as many different documents as you prefer. We hope you found this lesson useful. And if you have, please like us, give us any comments, we love those. And then would you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be up to date with the newest lessons we provide so that you can master Word. Thank you.